Hey YouTube, how you guys doing tonight? Kevin here coming at you. Um, had a really late night tonight, so I'm not gonna get into the uh, putting the oil on. But I did want to do a short video um, for you guys, and I'm gonna call this one confirming timing. As you can see, I did a lot of uh, box moving. Got all the closet done right there, so I gotta hang up the curtain for that and get the uh, stuff all done, so I can clear all the stuff out. This is all parts, pieces, and everything else for bikes. Except for that brown table over there has to be taken out. But other than that, it's all good. Got another one of my collage plates right there. Got a bunch of those. I got one of my sons in them too. Um, got a couple of these things. I love these things. I have a, a four-year-old. Hey, you guys You guys know Andrew. Working in his room. So, hold on. Put that up there. You can see he's got a long collage plate and of course when you went to his room he's got the big stop sign right on his door <laughs> so anyway go back in here all right so anyway we're back on this uh this bike right here and i want to show you guys um after you guys adjust points and some of you guys have questions about you know timing um these bikes are not adjustable you can see right here, um, let me see if I get a light to help you guys out with this. Okay, here we go. I'll put this up here like this. See the screws right here? They're fixed. You can't rotate this. Um, if you could, you could adjust the timing. So if you have like a, a, a Suzuki DS80 or DS100 or like the um, Kawasaki 125s and um, we call it the, the two, you know, 175, 200. Some of those have a slide and you can adjust it. And I want to talk to you guys about confirming that your timing is correct. Now, incorrect points, point setting can change your timing. A lot of people don't realize that it's called dwell. Um, and how long the ratio, how long it stays open for. So it can actually go past. Right up inside here is a timing mark. Okay, I highlighted on our bike, the bike that we're working on. Let's see if I can waddle over to it. Okay. Right up inside here. Oh, so, so, I don't know if you can see or not. Right up in there is a red, there's a little notch. You see how I highlight a red? Oh, you can see, see a little red dot? And then on the flywheel, let's see if I can hang this upside down here, something here. Okay, like this, like that. On the flywheel, I painted it red right here. Now, those two red red lines that are up underneath there have to match up. Okay, every time that red line passes that little dot, the spark plug fires. Okay, every single time. So, basically... If your timing is correct, when you put the uh, timing light up to it, which looks like this, this is a timing light right here. Got a couple wires on it. You're gonna need a 12 volt battery because it's all timing bolt. I mean, all timing um, guns are 12 volts. And it's got this little clip right here. This little clip goes on the spark plug wire. So I'll show you this. Just clamps right onto the spark plug wire. Just like that. Picks up the pulse. Now, every time, I can't show you because obviously I can't start up this bike. But every time spark plug fires, the strobe light is going to flash. Okay? Every time that flashes is exactly at the timing mark when it goes. So, basically what you would do is you would start up your bike and you, you set this up. Keep this cover off, and then you'd be able to flash the light on there, and you'll be able to see the, the, the timing marks line up every single time. That means your bike is in time. Okay? So, a lot of people didn't realize you could do this with these bikes. They only thought that, that um, those lines were for, t for um, setting your points. So, I'm going to show you guys what actually happens. Alright? So, I'm going to... Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut the light off. It's going to go extremely dark in here. So let me get my uh, flashlight. 
so I can set this up to show you guys. Okay, set this up in here like this, just so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so now we're just on the uh, flashlight light. All right, I can't go on that side, kick it over, hold the flashlight and all that other stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come on the side of the bike. I've got my switch on the on position up on the handlebars. Okay, make sure that all this fun fall over on me. Yeah, yeah, we are good. All right, we're good. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold the the light. There's a little power button right there. You push the power button, and when the light kicks over, you see the strobe light. So I'm gonna shut the uh, the flashlight off. Okay, now we're just in complete darkness. I got the power button on, put my foot on the kickstart. See that strobe? Every time I kick the bike over, for every spark, the strobe light will flash. Now when the bike is running, that strobe light, oh, that strobe light is going to be in perfect time with those two lines. And that is how you can tell your bike is in time. Now, this is a rotary valve engine, so it's it's a fixed time. That's why it's like that. It's, it's not adjustable because it's a rotary valve. The timing is set on the rotary valve and the timing is fixed on the magneto. So you don't have to worry about it. But if you had a bike that has a, um, what do you call it there? Reeds, reed valves, or um, what do you call it? Yeah, pretty much just reed valve motors um, have adjustable timing. So um, just something pretty cool I wanted to show you guys. So every time it fires, Every time the spark fires, the light's magnetic and it won't stick to metal. There we go. Okay. So, which you can't see it from right there. But every time the rotor comes around and that red light, that red line, Lines up with that mark. You're going to hold this right here, right like that, and flash it right at it. And every time it spins, it will flash right on that red dot. And then you'll be able to see it. No matter how fast the engine's spinning, you'll be able to hold that on there and see it. The st uh, strobe light will slow it right down. So it's a pretty cool thing. Like I said, you'll need a 12-volt battery for it. I just wanted to touch base with you guys and show you that pretty cool thing. Um... Tomorrow we're going to get more into the bike. We're going to do some of the finish off the wiring and um, get that stuff all done. But I wanted to show you that I, I showed you guys in, in one of my videos how I, I had a timing light in it. And I wanted to show you guys what I used the timing light for. Basically it just confirms that the points are set properly um, and that the bike is firing at the right spot. If your points are, um, what do you call it, the... Uh, the gap is too close it can fire too early um if it's too far you know the gap is too wide and it takes too long it'll fire late that's why you gotta set it with the field gauges to get it right where it's supposed to be um and that's pretty much it so anyway thank you guys for watching please subscribe if you guys have any questions or comments i am going to do a video on a bike that's running um, actually we're going to do it on this bike right here. Once the bike is started and running, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. This is just a, a quick timing check mark, um, to show you what, you know, what you can do, you know, to check your timing. So it's going to be a few days before this thing actually runs. So if you have a timing light at home and you want to mess around with your bike, make sure she's in neutral, pop the side cover off, takes, I use a paint marker. Just one of these right here. You can get this at um, what do you call it? any auto parts store, any hardware store has these. And then just you know, mark your line, and you'll see the, the adjacent line up top. Mark them, 
start your bike, put your timing light onto it, and you'll be able to see it. Uh, it's not something you have to do on these bikes, but it's pretty cool to check it out and make sure you get the right timing. If you if you gap your points correctly, you won't have to worry about it. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. That's all I got for you guys for tonight. Um, just a little tech tip there on the bikes and what do you call it there. Yeah, just a little tech tip for you and show you guys how to do it. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. Have any questions or comments, by all means, please send them my way. Thanks.